Some big name players are going to miss some time with some injuries. Let's get you caught up on all the injury news from opening weekend. Coming up next. Yo ho everybody and welcome to another edition of Yinzer on Hockey. Before we begin, make sure you go down below, click that like button, make sure you click the subscribe button and click that little bell so you stay up to date on all the NHL news. So a couple of big injuries that we're tracking from opening weekend um, that uh, took place over the, the course of the first few games for each of these teams. Uh, let's start off down in uh, Sunrise, Florida. Roberto Luongo left the uh Opening night game against the Tampa Bay Lightning the other day with a lower body injury. He has been placed on injured reserve, which means he will miss at least a week. Um, in the meantime, Florida has recalled Michael Hutchison um, to be their emergency backup goaltender. Um, James Reimer will be their starting goaltender uh, for the interim until Lebuongo is fully healthy. Um, other news and kind of surprising here, yeah, Los Angeles Kings, Jonathan Quick, um, had an injury in practice Saturday morning. Um, he was placed on injured reserve along with Dustin Brown, who was placed on long-term injured reserve so that they had enough room to, to make this work salary cap-wise to recall Peter Budai uh, from Ontario to be their backup goaltender. Uh, Michael Campbell started for them last night. It was very impressive in their game. Um, so good that L.A. has... Uh, a depth of goaltending, but they really would like for Jonathan Quick to get healthy as quick as possible. Uh, San Jose Sharks following the game on Friday against the Los Angeles Kings, Joe Thornton had some swelling in his right knee. If you recall earlier this year, that's the knee that he had surgery on for the torn MCL ACL. Um, so maybe just a little bit of after effects of that. You'll get some swelling. Um, I've had meniscus surgery. I think that's one of the other ligaments that he tore as well. So you do get some swelling uh, for quite some time after. But they did place him on IR, so he will miss at least a week. They recalled Dylan Gambro. Um, he had a very impressive opening in the, uh, for San Jose Barracudas in their AHL opener, netting two goals and an assist. So they bring him up to be uh, kind of a, a depth forward option. Um, I don't know if he'll be in their starting lineup right away, but uh, he may see some time down the road. In Philadelphia, uh, in their game against uh, the Colorado Avalanche the other night, um, James Van Riemsdyk left the game uh, with a lower body injury uh, around midway through the second period. Um, he left and did not return. Haven't read anything on his updated status, so I would assume it's kind of a day-to-day -day thing. They're just uh, waiting to find out any particulars on it. Um, nothing of note on him yet, uh, so... Unless I hear otherwise, I'm going to have to assume that he's going to be a go for their next game. Um, we'll take a look at that in the previews and predictions videos as they come along. Uh, not sure when Philly's next game is, but uh, I will let you know. Um, but yeah, those are some big news, uh, big injuries that we're tracking from the opening weekend. want to keep you guys up to date on all the uh, injuries that are going on around the league. Make sure you guys keep your fantasy lineups intact. And um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe on the video. Um, follow me on all the social media listed below. I tweet about all this stuff as well. So keep you guys informed on that side of things. And until I see you next time, have a good day.